Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Channel. If you is new, you should have been subscribed. Like, I don't know what's what's going on, okay? Not new, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? First things first, okay? It seems like Ariana Grande's manager, all right, has followed Cardi B. Is there a collab in the works on Ariana Grande's next album, okay? Now, if you ask me, um, I don't know how that will sound. Like, what the hell would a Cardi B and Ariana Grande collab sound like? I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't I wouldn't want that at all, actually. Um, now, I think that personally, Cardi B, okay, she's trying to use Ariana Grande to get her career back onto, you know, that pop star level, okay? Because Cardi B, she was popular. She was popular like hell, but her career has just declined. And I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. I mean, we all know why, but... People just don't care anymore. They don't care anymore. Uh, but Ariana Grande and Cardi B on one song. Mm -mm. Ariana, y'all need to go ahead and scrap that right now. ASAP. Okay, I mean, take the trash out on that shit because I don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that, okay? Ariana Grande is too much of a polished artist to collaborate with anybody, um, you know, in the slums of the rap game, Cardi B. I'm just going to keep it honest being with you, okay? That's just fact now, okay? Now, Ariana Grande is coming, all right? And I'm excited, though. I'm excited for Ariana Grande's return. Um, a lot of people were saying they're not really interested in what Ariana Grande has going on right now. But I'm here. I'm ready. I'm going to support that girl. I don't care, okay? I'm ready for it, okay? Um, what is your opinion, y'all? We could talk about it down below in the comments. I want to hear what you guys say about this. Can you see them two on the song together? Um, and can you see... Ariana Grande putting Cardi B on her album. Let's talk about that. Let's discuss that in the comments, all right? Let's move on into this next topic, okay? All right, y'all. SZA is finally getting her ass up. The SOS Deluxe version is coming. Lana is on its way. Um, in case y'all do not know, um, Lana was supposed to be released last week, okay? But we are now officially seeing posters around the cities um, and, you know, billboards are around and um, the label is finally doing their job with her. OK, now, how do I feel about this? I love this, but it should have came out, I would say after. No, you know what? It's coming out when it's supposed to. OK, the thing about it is I'm not going to even sit up and act like Scissor's going to flop because she's not. OK, she's been having too much of a good year to flop. OK, if she now, if she does flop, I'll be shocked as hell. Okay, but a lot of people recently been saying they couldn't really get into her like that. Like, they just can't really get into SZA right now. What's that about? Okay, if that's you, comment down below. Because I've been hearing people say they just cannot get into her. Um, but to me, SZA, she she makes easy easy to listen to music, all right? Um, I think her music is very easy digestible. You don't have to really think too deep on it, okay? And it's just good. And it's just something chill. But people still are saying they cannot get into SZA. And they're not here for this new deluxe album. I, I'm excited for it. What, like, what's what, y'all hate fun? Y'all really hate fun, okay? Um, does sometimes SZA sound insecure and her music be sounding like sad girl, um, side girl music? Okay, maybe, 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 maybe I'll give y'all that. But even outside of that, she's not a bad artist. She's just not a bad artist. Y'all just hate what's popular sometimes. I noticed that some people hate what's popular, not even because it's popular. Just because they want to feel like they special. Or they want to feel unique to hate on what's trendy right now. Give to her tens. And I'll leave it at that. Let's move on to this next topic. Moving on. Let's wake this tea up real quick. All right. Nicki Minaj floods the Billboard Hot 100. All right. And, you know, she actually has charted a great amount of songs. People are bashing her saying, oh, well, she can barely chart the whole album. Did your mother chart the whole album, bitch? Let's leave Nicki alone, okay? It's Christmas season. If I see any more comments, I'm 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 a elbow a bitch quickly. All right. Now, all right. Personally, y'all, I am excited for um, the music videos for this era. Okay, Nicki, what's up with the music videos? All right, I can't wait to see what we will be given. All right, I want to see a lot of these songs. All right, in a, a full body of art okay i want to see your vision i want to see how you can envision a nice music video for needle for you know pink friday girls for cowgirl for you know barbie dangerous like what is your mind gonna give us okay um i really do want pink friday two visuals okay i don't want her to i don't i do not want her to pull a beyonce nikki i love you down but if you starve me with visuals, I'm going to be upset because I really love this album. And I really want to have a visual to, you know, look at and, you know, tune into. I mean, I get it. Music videos aren't as popular anymore because people are just, you know, streaming and they're on TikTok. And like, you know, music videos nowadays, technically, they don't really boost the performance. But 
for some reason, sometimes if a music video has good visuals, it will make me like the song even more. It's really weird. Unless a music video is controversial, that's the only way a music video is gonna like, you know, do crazy, 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 crazy numbers. You know, unless it's controversial or the song is controversial. That's the only way for real, for real. But the music videos are for the fans and I'm a fan. So I need some music videos. Give me the art, okay? Give me some Corey. I wanted to see her and her element, okay? That's what I wanna see, okay? Um, I don't know, maybe I'm asking for too much. I know some people wanna be in the comments like, let her do what she wanna do. I'm not saying she can't do what she wanna do. I'm just saying I wanna see a visual. Is that bad? Is that wrong? All right, let's talk about that. Let's move on to this next topic. Get your stuff back up and try again. Get your stuff back up and try again. Yeah, JT, get up, boo. All right, we saw you fall on stage. It's okay. We still love you. Like, dust your knees off and get the fuck up. JT was recently seen on stage performing, and she took a big old tumble, and she, you know, fell backwards. Uh, now, my opinion on this, everybody's on social media dragging her like, oh, this is, this is her karma. This is her karma. Oh, she shouldn't have like, girl, shut up. Just, just, just be quiet, okay? Everybody has their moments when they fall. Everybody has their moments when they don't perform the best, and it's okay. Y'all love holding people to they, that one little mistake, okay? I can see if they make mistakes every time they come out. That's different. If, if, if every time they pop out, that bitch falling, okay, then we on her ass. We gonna be on her ass. But if she's just having that one little fall, let her have her one little fall, okay? Let her have her one little bad moment. I can see if JT was stumbling and tripping and fumbling and freaking and flipping and spinning every time she was on that stage, but she doesn't do that. So let's all cut JT some slack. All right, let's cut her some slack. Let's just, you know, chill out. You know, let's chill out a little bit. All right, child, moving on. Lotto has donated over $350,000 for her third annual Christmas in Clayco toy drive. Congratulations, Lotto, for doing something big. Um, but the people in the comments saying, you just donated your whole entire net worth. Ooh, let's, let's get into that. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, okay? I feel like personally, though, um, this is good. This is good, you know, she's giving back. All right, you know, she's giving back to the community after releasing trashy music, all right? Because, you know, the community has to recover from that. You know, the community is, we are just, we are just damaged from that music, that album. It's just, what's going on? So, you know, she had to make up for it by donating over 350K. But this is good, though. I you know this is actually a good look for her. Um, This is the best thing she's done all year. For real. Like, Lotto, this, Lotto, I'm, Lotto, I'm never proud of your ass, but I'm proud of you today. I'm going to be real with you. I'm proud of your ass. I'm proud of you. You did your big one, okay? But let's not spend all of our label money on our toy drive. Let's not spend all of our <laughs> income for the year on toy drives. Let's not spend all of our advances on toy drives. Let's not spend all of our, you know, album sale money on toy Like, let's, let's keep it a bean, okay? But yes, um, what is your opinion on that? Um, you know, hey, everybody got their own opinion. Beehive, stand up and empty your pockets. Beyonce is coming back and she has a special treat for you. All right, a special treat. Now, Beyonce's website is allegedly shut down. It's, you know, it's down, okay? Um, and people are hinting at the fact that Beyonce is going to be releasing a live album at midnight, okay? The Renaissance, all right? What's up with that, Beyonce? What's up with that? Now, I think, in my opinion, Beyonce saw the tours flopping in theaters and she had to come up with something quick. She said, you know what? Y'all not trying to watch this movie no more? Fuck it. Y'all can have the album. I'm done. I'm out. And she gonna leave this Renaissance era in 2023, okay? And she ain't giving you no visuals, okay? Since y'all made her tour film flop, she said, fuck them visuals, bitch. You ain't paying me for no my movie. You ain't getting no motherfucking music video. Take this live album and shove it up your ass. That is what Beyonce is saying, okay? Now, me personally, I don't mind a live album, but I can get that on YouTube. I can just type in uh, Renaissance World Tour, heated live studio version. Boom, I got it. Like, you ain't special. It's not that hard, okay? Um, but me personally, though, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a good move. It's a great move because, mind y'all, the Renaissance album came out in 2022, almost two years ago. So she has been making this era like you know stretch out she played the long game with this era and um she did a good job i'm not gonna lie to you you know we in 2023 almost 2024 and we talking about live you know studio tour version of the of the album like you know that's good the album came out last year almost two years ago so this is great if she releases visuals which i don't think she's gonna do anymore i think the visuals are a done deal um she just she's just too much of a perfectionist to drop the visuals i'm sorry but allegedly, y'all, okay, we got some new Beyonce coming out tonight. We're going to see what's up with that. We're going to see what's up with that. We're going to update y'all in tomorrow's video. But yes, y'all, what is your opinions? Comment down below. Let's talk about it. If you made it this far into the video and you're not subscribed, I'm just like, what's going on? What's going on, boo? We got to get that checked out, okay? 
But yes, y'all, I'll see y'all next one. Be safe.